Look, this is what collectors here have been waiting for, a chance to combine coffee and cards. But when collectors found out they're paying more here than those in other provinces, well, for some of them, it felt like being hit with an Al McKinnis slap shot. This used to cost you 99 cents with the purchase of a hot beverage, 199 as a standalone purchase. But when the cards went on sale on Monday, collectors cringed. This year's price, about a buck 50 when combined with a tea or coffee purchase, and a full dollar more as a standalone purchase, 299 plus HST. And if that wasn't enough to knock the wind out of you, like a Darnell nurse body check, well, word quickly got around this week that prices elsewhere in Canada had not changed. So a two-tiered system with Newfoundland and Labrador as the higher priced outlier. The difference in price ignited some angry chatter on Facebook groups like this one. Todd Skinner calling it a ripoff, telling the CBC he won't be collecting this year. This guy is an Olympic curling champion, a St. John's city councillor, and for the past three years, he's teamed up with his daughter to collect NHL cards. Initially, Korab chalked the increase up to inflation, but then he searched the prices in other provinces. As I come to learn, as I read more and more, that no, it's just Newfoundland and Labrador, that's two ninety nine, and the rest of Canada's one ninety nine. He says that's unacceptable. If you're a national brand, you're Canada's national company, I mean, they were a sponsor of curling, they're big in the community with Tim Hortons camps, you know, have the price set across the board. If you're going to put the price up, put it up everywhere. Korab says it's taken the fun out of collecting. We'll get the base set, but we won't be going all out like we used to. Just, just price has gone up, it's just not worth it anymore. Tim Hortons provided the following statement. It's not uncommon in our industry that prices of some products can vary across the country, and that is the case with this year's cards. This is the first time we've adjusted the price of Tim Hortons NHL trading cards in Newfoundland and Labrador since 2015. And collectors can still get a great deal when purchasing a hot beverage and picking up a pack for just one fifty. Thank you for your response, Tim Hortons. But no answer to our very basic question. Why are these cards more expensive here? Well, not even the standard response we've come to expect, that it costs more to ship to Newfoundland and Labrador. You know, I realize I'm privileged enough to be able to do these things. There's a lot of issues in Newfoundland and Labrador. But, you know, I don't have the money to be throwing $3 a pack down and buying 10 packs at a time, $30. It's just, it's not in the cards, literally. For some, the higher price is a stretch pass too far. They're out of the game completely. Others say it's cheaper for them to buy the cards in large quantities in a province like Nova Scotia and have them shipped here. What would Connor McDavid think? Terry Roberts, CBC News, St. John's.